Hi, uh, this is Jeff Weiss, uh, back with uh, Unit 2 of the Introduction to Horticulture. Uh, this is the first of three lectures for this unit on plant anatomy. Uh, we'll be starting out with cells, uh, which is the basic unit of organization for all living things. But before we begin, uh, a couple of uh, items. Um, thank you to all of you who've posted your and replied to self-introductions. Uh, there's some really interesting people in this class. Uh, there's a diversity of age and experience and prior education. Uh, so I'm really hopeful that as these uh, discussion boards uh, occur each week that you'll uh, uh, interact, uh, continue to inform, and uh, pick up each other and add to the, uh, uh, the, the, the learning environment that we're trying to create in this class. So. Uh, uh, nice job on the self-introductions, and uh, let's uh, uh, keep our, uh, our entries onto the uh, discussion board uh, uh, informative, interesting, supportive of one another, and uh, uh, moving the discussion forward. So uh, there's another discussion uh, posted for this week. Uh, it's due Wednesday uh, with replies due Saturday. And... Uh, assignment uh, two, uh, I think this is a misprint on the, uh, on the uh, slide, assignment uh, two is due at the end of uh, the week. Uh, it will take a little bit of work to uh, uh, get your uh, uh, dissection done, but um, uh, let me know if you have any questions or problems with it. So for this week we're going to uh, get into three levels of anatomical organization uh, in plants, cells, tissues, and organs. Uh, probably all of you are familiar with plant organs, leaves, roots, stems, flowers, etc. Uh, tissues are the uh, component parts of those and the cells are the basic unit of uh, structure and it's really important to understand uh, a little bit of anatomy going into an introduction to horticulture class. So within that, we're going to uh, look at the structure of cells and the function of major organelles uh, and list um, and describe the primary tissue types and their function. And finally, uh, your assignment will be to recognize, draw, and label organs and tissues of plants commonly found in your local supermarket. Readings this week are um, Chapter 3 in Aqua, which has a lot of uh, anatomical terms. Uh, there'll be a uh, optional exercise if you want to build up your vocabulary um, of these terms. And then there's a couple of videos uh, that I think are worth watching. Uh, microscopic uh, uh, views of cells, tissues, and organs. And then uh, good information about plant uh, structure and how it affects uh, reproduction. So this week, uh, focus on anatomy. Uh, next week will be physiology, the function uh, that uh, these various uh, um, plant parts, component cells, tissues, organs play. Uh, the subunits of cells are organelles. The tissue types um, uh, will be uh, some of the key terms that will be included on your uh, first exam in about four weeks. So, um, first thing is a differentiation between anatomy and physiology, which I've already started to describe. Anatomy is the form, the various parts of the plant. Uh, these can be parts down to the microscopic level. Uh, but the physiology is the function that those parts play in uh, comprising a complete uh, plant and how all of the uh, uh, functions uh, come together to allow a plant to grow and uh, reproduce. Cell structure. So um, this is a cutaway view of a cell. Maybe this is review for some of you who've taken this in uh, high school biology. Uh, but the, the outer membrane or the plasma membrane is a barrier that is uh, selective. It, it holds the um, organelles 
uh, that you see in various colors floating around in there inside the cell, but it does allow um, water and sugars uh, to enter the cell so that it can uh, rebuild itself, and it allows uh, wastes and uh, uh, gases uh, to get through that, uh, through that barrier. Cytoplasm is all of the uh, floating materials and liquid um, and includes various organelles, again, different colors here. And the nucleus is a key organelle. Uh, it's the one that houses all of the cell's genetic material, its DNA, and is responsible for um, organizing and directing the uh, functions of the cell. So a little more about the cell wall. Uh, it's made up of, uh, depending on the plant, whether it's woody or um, uh, fleshy, uh, it is made up of cellulose, hemicellulose, protein, and pectins. Uh, this happens to be a, uh, a picture of a woody plant uh, cell wall. And there's a very thick layer of lignin, uh, which is the uh, material that uh, gives trees their uh, their structure surrounding the uh, the cell. Uh, the primary and secondary cell walls uh, surround the, uh, the 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 rest of the cytoplasm in the cells, and um, even after the living part of the cell dies, this uh, cell wall structure uh, remains and provides structure for the tree. So the uh, wood in the middle of a tree is called heartwood. It's composed of these dead uh, cells, uh, but they still have the, uh, uh, the, the structure uh, inside of them uh, that allows the, uh, the plant to hold its shape and uh, go dormant in the, um, in, the, in the winter and come back and continue growing in the summer if it's a um, deciduous tree. The nucleus of the cell here circled is composed of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Uh, that's the genetic material that allows uh, cells and, and organisms to reproduce themselves. Uh, and it's the primary organelle that uh, uh, directs the cell functions. Uh, DNA, and we'll get more into this when we talk about sexual reproduction in a few weeks, uh, the DNA is within defined structure called chromosomes and how the chromosomes behave when cells are dividing and especially undergoing uh, uh, sexual reproduction will be uh, 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 covered in a future lesson. Vacuoles. Uh, vacuoles are little cavities that contain the cell sap. Uh, mainly water, but it also holds sugar, salt, and proteins. These are the materials uh, that uh, the cells use to uh, replenish and rebuild themselves. Uh, they also hold, uh, and this is important for uh, plants, uh, is they hold pigments uh, involved in flower colors and fall leaf color. Uh, they can also absorb water to maintain pressure. So if this pressure uh, drops, uh, and the water is uh, lost in the cell, wilting and uh, eventual uh, uh, death of the plant will result. Uh, plastids. These are the little uh, organelles uh, that are uh, the that hold the chlorophyll. That's the green pigment that is critical to photosynthesis. Uh, there's other kinds of plastids. Uh, leucoplasts are colorless. Chromoplasts are, uh, contain other colors than green, such as uh, yellow, orange, and red pigments. Uh, but in, uh, th these are um, found in varying numbers uh, in different parts of the plant. In the leaves, the um, chloroplasts are very numerous, and they conduct the um, photosynthesis uh, that sustains and feeds the plant. So here's some more, some more, um, and, and I call this elsewhere in the class alphabet soup uh, because there are frankly a lot of uh, 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 terms here uh, in this class, but it's I think important if you are going to understand how plants grow and um, um, 
prosper and reproduce themselves, it's, it's important to have an understanding of how um, the how these functions work and how these um, anatomical parts uh, contribute to the overall um, functioning of the plant. So there's mitochondria, that's the power uh, pack of the uh, plant. They provide energy through a chemical called ATP. Uh, ribosomes are where proteins are formed. Um, so the blueprints for all of the proteins required to um, for plant metabolism growth and reproduction are contained in the DNA, uh, but that DNA has um, uh, sends out its uh, messages through RNA and through uh, protein synthesis, and that work that critical work is done within the ribosomes in the cells. So um, there's several others here: the endoplasmic reticulum, uh, Golgi apparatus, microbodies, uh, and and the like are uh, covered in the text. And uh, I think it's going to be worth your uh, time and effort to get to know uh, uh, how these uh, organelles. Uh, um, uh, what they are and how they function. So um, that is it on cells, but now we're going to move up to plant tissues. So plant tissues are combinations or groups of cells uh, that together um, may be simple or complex, but they begin to um, uh, form the uh, the parts that that that. Uh, provide the essential functions of plants. So this happens to be a, uh, uh, a leaf surface and you can see how uh, various um, types of cells uh, are organized into layers or um, uh, groups of tissues and we're going to get into this uh, uh, in a little more detail. So one very important uh, uh, type of tissue is an apical meristem. This is, um, uh, these are uh, tissues that are located at the growing tips of the plants, whether they be roots or stems, um, but they can, um, they're areas of active growth where the cells are rapidly dividing and pushing the uh, elongation of the plant uh, forward. Um, many times these apical meristems can be pinched out to um, uh, prune or remove the dominance of that uh, of that growing tip and uh, once that happens uh, other um, other meristems will grow from the sides of the plant um, the uh, and uh, promote bushier growth so um, apical meristems uh, promote the upward growth of, of the main stem of a plant or the uh, um, the uh, the roots, the tap roots, uh, and it's important to understand uh, how they contribute and how to use them to control um, the development of plants. So there's uh, three basic types of simple tissues um, that which develop from meristems. Um, Calenchyma, that's the uh, the epidermis and the cuticle uh, cells. The chlorenchyma, uh, which are the uh, uh, the main cells that contain the chloroplasts, which conduct uh, photosynthesis and produce food for the plant, and then there's cholenchyma, uh, cells with thick primary walls that retain their protoplasm, and these are the structural cells uh, that maintain the uh, form and the shape and form of the plant. And finally, the fourth type is uh, sclerenchyma. Uh, these are uh, cells that lose their protoplasm in maturity and are dead and uh, 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 provide uh, structure to the plant, to, uh, to woody plants. So this is a, a photo of oak sclerenchyma uh, and it is the critical element that has allowed uh, trees to reach great heights. So those are the simple tissues. There's a more complex type of tissues. Uh, epidermis are the tissues, the outermost layer of cells that uh, protect the plant from, uh, from damage and also protect the plant from uh, taking in 
and losing uh, too much uh, water or gas uh, uh, from the uh, from the uh, cells underneath. Uh, secretory cells are um, we'll get to a little more about that, but those are cells that create one or more chemicals, and they're classified according to what it is that they secrete. And then uh, conducting tissues that's the uh, the vascular tissues, the the, the tissues um, uh, that move uh, materials uh, around the plant. And those materials can be either um, uh, sugars that have been produced through photosynthesis or it can be uh, water and nutrients that are required by the plant for uh, proper cell nutrition. So uh, some examples of secretory tissues would include the uh, the, the uh, uh, tissues that produce nectar uh, the salt glands uh, and other uh, uh, tissues that uh, either attract pollinators or drive away potential herbivores. Uh, in a few cases, there's digestive uh, tissues that uh, digest insects that the plant wants to eat. And then there's other adhesive uh, secretions that uh, can uh, secrete goo. Uh, uh, an example of this would be pine um, uh, tar or pine pitch uh, and you're probably familiar with cases where um, uh, insects have been uh, um, swallowed up and preserved as amber in uh, pine, titch, uh, pine pitch. Uh, other examples are listed here resin ducts, um, mucilage cells, they help uh, 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 lubricate um, roots as they uh, slide through the soil uh, and uh, uh, lactif lat latissifers uh, that secrete latex or plant milk uh, such as illustrated by this uh, picture of uh, people collecting uh, uh, latex from a rubber tree. Conducting tissues, uh, these are as I mentioned before the uh, pipes that move water and uh, materials from roots up to leaves and throughout the plant. Uh, there's two important types of uh, connecting tissues. One is xylem that moves uh, water and nutrients up the tree and or up the plant and phloem that moves uh, food uh, from the leaves where it's produced to other parts of the plant where it'll be used or stored uh, for uh, long-term survival of the plant. And uh, that's it for the first uh, uh, of three lectures here. I'll be uh, joining you again soon. Uh, take time out, um, review, uh, look at the book, uh, try to get a handle on some of these uh, uh, terms that you're seeing, and I'll be back at you shortly.